Huh? We have said you should take an appraisal to see where you are coming from, where you are at, and where you are going. And if you've already had goals before, I say take an appraisal to be able to appreciate, to comprehend, to understand, to acknowledge him who had given you grace to come thus far. In this clip, we want to say that perhaps you took that step, you did make an appraisal. But having made the appraisal, you discover that things are not okay. Things are not well. And while others are praising God, magnifying God, you look at this and you praise God now. And she be just be a bite your leather. And you praise God now. Everything is okay, okay with you. And you praise, you'll be helping them to count their blessings, undermining your own. And you, you praise God now. You just got a new job. And you praise God now. You just moved to a new house. Instead of you to praise God for yourself, you be murmuring and thanking God for others. Because when you say, you can say thank you now, because you just bought a new house, you just did this, you did that. You are glorifying God on behalf of others. But we are here to say that having appraised yourself, and perhaps you find that you are yet to get to your goals, you are yet to achieve your set target, or you have had it in mind that by this time you would have been far gone in terms of the standard, the goals you set for yourself. We are here to say that don't be dismayed. Don't give up. Don't give in. What should your attitude be? We are saying here that your attitude should still be one of continued thanksgiving. Yes, God. I had hoped that I would have been able to travel by now. I had hoped that by my plans, I had hoped that I would have been able to achieve this, but I have not been able to. I return to give you the praise. I return to give you the honor. I return to magnify your name. The word continued means whether in good time or in bad time, you continue to press on. You give him the praise. Hebrews 13, 15. We are looking at what should be your attitude. Your attitude should be one of continued praise. Hebrews 13, 15 says, Let us offer. We must offer. There is no choice. There is no option. <laughs> I've told you how there are times I will go, hey, but I should say, God, I thank you. God, I praise you. God, I bless you. But of course, those moments are not, are not, they don't last. But in that pain, check our clips. We have made a clip, a clip on um, bleeding. There's no definition for bleeding, emotional bleeding. If you pick the dictionary, it will tell you that bleeding is a, a, a hemorrhage, a blood clot, a blood, um, it has to do with the blood flowing, but there are times when you bleed emotionally. You are smiling, laughing, but inside there is great pain. What should you do at those moments? We said you must continue to praise him. You must continue to thank him. You must continue to magnify him. You must continue. So if you've taken an appraisal, Hebrews 13, 15, and you see that in that appraisal, there is still much to be desired in your case and your story. Hebrews 13, 15 says, let us offer praise to God continually. Our lips giving thanks to his name. You must not let evil come out from your mouth. Job is an example. None of us has and will never experience the kind of pain of Job where he lost everything in a day. But with all that pain, he stuck with God. He gave God the praise. Job 1, it says that he did not sin with his mouth, but gave God the praise. will not be like Job in Jesus' name. Our experiences will not be like Job in Jesus' name. And is there anyone going through pain 
and you say, ah, my case is like that of my father's, like Jacob said to, to Pharaoh. We are here to say to you that be encouraged. As you give God the praise, we will turn around your situation. Psalm 71 verse 8 says, Let my mouth be filled with thy praise all the day. All the day, all the day, all the day, all the day. Magnifying him, exalting him, giving him praise, adoring him, magnifying him. Psalm 34 1 has the same to say. He said, I'll bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my lips. So the appraisal that we say take is not to put you in a, in a depression mood, no. It's not to put you in a sad mood, no. It's not to make you unhappy, no. It's not to remove dancing steps from your feet, no. It is to energize you, to praise him, to magnify him. To say that yes, my miracle is coming. There's this song that says, Number one miracle, Lolo wa faye te mi she o. Number one miracle, Lolo wa faye te mi she. He says, My miracle is number one. God has made my miracles number one. He put songs of joy of laughter in my heart. Dancing steps on my feet. Oh, for you see me, let no one give my color. Oh, you just see me, let's say, one give my joy show. Oh, for you see me, lock on. I are here, I am. Number one, miracle. Lua, fire, Timisha. When you praise him, you will come to be number one. Don't worry about those that have gone ahead as you take their praise up. So I say, ah, they've gone far. Ah, they already have five children. I'm here to marry. Ah, their children have finished school. Ah, this one and that one. Hey, they have moved into their house. So many reasons. But whatever be the reason, tell yourself the best is yet to come. So the appraiser is to say the best is yet to come. As you give him the praise, as you magnify him, as you exalt him. May the Lord energize and quicken your situation to be positive in the name of Jesus. May he cause you and I to overtake, overrun. <laughs> Give us strength to run through the troops and remain victorious and overcome us all the time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we're here saying, stay wickedly focused. Give him the praise. Magnify him. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Ataken, General Overseer, Band of Love Missions International. On Facebook, we have five right band pages. Charge the scriptures, nation building, ministers of the truth, when you pray and I pray. On YouTube, E-D-I-T-H, H-E-A-K-E -E is the account, Church on the Air, one of Love Missions International. Like, share, subscribe, and I assure you, I assure you that your life and my life can never, will never, never be the same again. Thank you so very much for learning with us. God bless you. It is a great honor and a great privilege to know that you are out there streamlining. Remember, the best is yet to come. You may repeat after me say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. You may need to say that, brother, all your sins are forgiven. Get a Bible. Get a daily devotional. And as you do, your life and my life can never, will never remain the same again. As you run with the truth of the word of God, and you make God's word the standard for living. Thank you so very much. God bless you. A very, very, very happy Thanksgiving to you, now and always, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.